Hello, this week we're going to be talking about the medical and surgical sections in your CD10 PCS. And again, some things that you need to keep in mind in terms of the medical and surgical section, always look for the approach, the character, and most importantly, the root operation. Again, anything from the medical and surgical section, the sections, the first character. So in this case, it will start with the number zero. Right. So zero, and you can see the other body system characters here. There are guidelines specific for this, and there are specific guidelines for the body system. The third character is the root operation. This is the one that normally people struggle with the difference between an excision and extraction, inspection versus change, bypass versus alteration. Please pay special attention to these terms so you can dissect exactly what happens in the operative record. Some more root terms here for you, release removal, repair. And again, the guidelines are specific. There are different sections. So you'll see these and we'll discuss these throughout the course. These cover such things as how do you code multiple procedures, discontinued procedures. Sometimes patients in the OR, you can't complete the procedure biopsies, excisions for grafts, and so on. The fourth character gives you more definitive information. So for example, if a physician documents procedure was performed on a specific site, such as the biceps femoris muscle, yet the body listing under the muscles, body system K does not provide the level of detail and so it does not say bicep femoris, you'll have to code to the body part that includes this. In this case, it would be the upper leg muscles. This is where your anatomy and physiology comes in with ICD-10 PCS. More on the guidelines. Now we're getting into the fifth character, the approach. This is where you need to know the difference between percutaneous, percutaneous endoscopic, the unnatural or artificial opening, the unnatural or artificial opening endoscopic. Thankfully, there's some examples of this in the coding books. Now we're on our way to the sixth character. And this is when we have a device. For instance, somebody has a interventional cardiology procedure, and there's a stent. The stent stays in the coronary artery. It's these types of devices that we're talking about. Sometimes there'll be drains and other different devices that are actually left in. So that covers the sixth character. Now we're moving on to the seventh character, the qualifier. The seventh character is always required. Just because you don't have a qualifier, you don't leave it blank. In this case, you would use the placeholder Z, much like a placeholder X in ICD-10. It basically is a placeholder that means no qualifier or not applicable. Now we get into some specific issues about multiple and discontinued procedures. When the same root operation is performed on different body parts, two codes are required. If it's the same root operation repeated at different body sites that are included in the same body part value, you will report the same code twice. Anytime there are multiple root operations with distinct objectives, 
we're going to report two codes. Finally, if we have an intended root operation using one approach, but we convert it to a different approach, in other words, we do things endoscopically, we decide to make it an open procedure, one code will report what was accomplished with the first approach, and the second code reports the second approach. If a procedure is discontinued for some reason, and it has to stop, you're being directed to report only those root operations that were actually done. So again, as we look through the PCS book, we have to look at the body system that's being treated, the root operation term, the third character, Fourth character meaning the specific anatomical site, realizing that sometimes they don't have an exact match. We have to look at the approach, the device, and the qualifier. And that's all I have for you. We'll see you online. Bye now.